Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for will your ex return or is there someone new coming in for you for the month of June? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Uh, also guys, if you like it this new way, you want me to continue to do it this way with the ex returns and the new love interest, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, I will be doing a contest soon for uh, personal reads obviously my personal reads um, are off right now so I'm not doing any personal reads there are closed and also if there is anyone in the comments that hits you up for a personal reading that is not me I do not reach out to you guys in the personal comments to hit you up for a reading I don't have a WhatsApp app the only place you can buy a reading for me or get a reading for me is in my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or in the description box below when I hold the contest I won't be reaching out to you guys in the comments what I will do I'll make an announcement and have you guys email me okay so I'll tell you who it is and then I'll, I'll tell you guys where to go to email me okay all right so all right guys let's jump right in I'm still getting used to the whole setup here so I hope you guys like it um, I have already fully shuffled the cards I have fully meditated on the cards and all I have to do is just move these cards around a little bit and we can just jump right in so Tell me what's going to happen, uh, what's going on with my Virgos, uh, ex, love interest, what's happening with the situation for the month of June. Show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see, whoever they're here for, whatever they want to know about, show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. Okay. And also guys, remember these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, your sun sign, feel free to cross watch. All right. So we got the judgment card energy. We got the Seven of Swords energy, and let's also pull some other cards here. So what's happening? Give me some information about what's happening with my Virgos, with their ex-romantic love interest for the month of June. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. So we see bold move, and we see looking at the bigger picture, and it's time it's time okay so let's kind of look at this over here so we see that there is uh, in the current situation potential for a reconciliation if someone could be honest here this does look like someone's hiding some things here with the seven of swords energy you see this person's like looking and they're talking to somebody and like hey what's up what's up but they're hiding something behind their back they're like they're not going telling the complete truth here or there's some deceptions here or there's a sense of they need to be honest with me here so it's like there is a want to be the first to make the first bold move and see things from a bigger picture but then there's also the sense of it's time to release some negativity here some negative energy around this right to look at this deeply because that's a scorpio energy right this is analyzing going on that's seven of swords seven, seven of swords let's talk about strategic analyzing kind of energy right it's like a lot of thinking contemplating about a reconciliation let's see what that seven of swords is about why is the seven of swords here why is the Seven of Swords here? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. The sense of confusion here with the Clouds card energy in news or messages or paying someone a visit for some kind of change or improvements or changing from one location to another. So it looks like you may or may, may receive some kind of visit from this person, which may be a little bit confusing about this sense of improvements or changes. So you may see it as like, okay, there's going to be some kind of reconciliation or you're think, you're feeling like, all right, there's something deceptive about this, or you're going to get some kind of news that's going to really confuse you about some improvements around the reconciliation. Okay. We see that, okay, be the, be the, be bold and make the first move. So there is a want to make the first move here and seeing the bigger picture, but there's there's that releasing of, uh, a ne to release negativity here. Seven of Swords energy. Let's, let's take a look further onto that judgment card energy. Judgment says, okay, I want things to rule in my favor. I want a healing. I want recovery, but I feel like they're not being honest with me. Seven of Swords energy. Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Child cards. So it could be a child involved in the situation. Could be a sense of let's have a fresh start, new opportunity. When it comes to house and family, stability and stableness. But the box card again is coming out. Are they being honest with me? Are they being truthful with me? Box card, are they being sly and slick about this? Okay. 
Let's keep going here. I want to get more information. Let me get more information about what's currently going on here. Tell me what's currently going on here with the situation between Virgo and Virgo's ex, whoever they're here for, whoever they want to know about, their ex-love interests, whoever they're here for. Give me more information about this current situation, please. Show me cards A to C. Show me cards A to C. Obviously, you want to fly out and you want to fly out, okay? All right, so there we go. Some kind of message, text message, Facebook message. All right. <laughs> to kiss and make up. Oh, my God. Okay, so in the current situation, there is some kind of message coming in to kiss and make up here. But then there's a sense of, or there's a want to do that, to make that bold move, to kiss and make up, to release this uh, negativity and seeing a bigger picture here. Okay. Let's keep going here. Let's keep kind of out what's going on here. All right, I want to see... I want to see what the blockages are in this connection. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups energy. We got the Chariot card energy. And let's also get some more information. Tell me more about the blockages here between Virgo and Virgo's ex love interest, please. Tell me about the blockages between Virgo and Virgo's ex love interest. Show me cards A to C. Show me cards A to C. All right, the Leg Up card, the Here and Now card. And the change card energy. Okay. Well, straight up, I can tell you part of the blockage million challenge is somebody has a strong will here. Okay. And there's still a sense of, will I be completely happy with this situation because of the fact that this person has a strong will? Emperor, uh, the, uh, or will there be a sense of victory here? Will we have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion around this? Will there be a supportive energy here? Will I get a, a victory in the here and now? And will there be some big changes here, right? Because there's still some things that I feel like needs to change here around the situation when it comes to supportive energy, right? This nurturing energy. So it's like the blockage is like somebody's like, you know what? There is the sense of I need some support here. And I need the focus to be on the here and now. And I need this huge change, okay? This person may have a lot of willpower and a, a sense of strength here and wanting control around this to get a victory and happiness here, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion here. Let's see what this, what is this cherry card energy about? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What's that about? A decision. Cutting something away, cutting something out. Yep, there's the bear card control. Making a decision around control and gaining knowledge about this. Mm -hmm. So part of the block Australian challenge is like, all right, can we cut away this controlling kind of nature, this this uh, sense of wanting to always, you know, because the bear card is coming out here too, right? Bears represent a parent, you know, bears represent, you know, someone who wants to be very nurturing, very caring. So there's a decision or something needs to be cut away or cut out when it comes to this uh, energy of control or lack of control or strength here or there's a sense of this person is really really needy all right there's, this person really needs my attention and there's a want to gain some kind of knowledge about okay can we just move past this can we be happy here you know can we just focus on the here and now can we get past this and can we have these changes here around the situation okay let's keep going here Let's find out how this person feels about you. How does Virgo's love interest, ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Virgo's ex-love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, well obviously, Virgo, they do feel passion for you. They have this passion energy. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There we go. It's saying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There is some spiritual factors at play here, right? Traditional values. So they, they feel like, yes, I feel passionate about this, but I want a traditional situation. And I am hoping that prayers can help me with this. So this person is really feeling like there's a spiritual connection and that they are praying about the situation. They are hoping for a positive outcome. They're trying to visualize a positive outcome. They're trying to manifest something positive here around this. This person feels like they want a decision to be made. They clearly want you to decide something here because they have a sense that there's some kind of codependencies going on, right? Bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination, or strong desire, strong attachments, obsessive energy here. 
when it comes to the separation. So this person does feel like very attached to you and they feel like there's a sense of separation and they do want you to make a decision. This person is focused on this past relationship and is hoping that they can have trust here or there's some issue around the past relationship or some other person involved that's causing this person to feel like there's not trust involved. But they do feel like they want to make an effort here. So there is a lot of obsessive energy here with this person. This person is very addicted to you. They're very obsessed with you. And they feel like, okay, there's past relationship. They're really looking at it and like, wow, there was all this passion here. And now I'm hoping for a positive outcome to make this effort. They're feeling like, all right, let me just trust and have faith that this decision will be made and we can move into a, a you know, we have the spiritual connection and there is this sense of the separation. I'm gonna trust that everything's gonna work out. Okay, let's keep going here. So, feelings wise, when it comes to the Tarot, okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles energy and we got the Knight of Cups energy. So how does this person feel about you? This person obviously feels that they want to take it slow, Knight of Pentacles energy, but they feel like there is romance here with the Knight of Cups energy and they do want to take actions towards a long-term commitment here and they do want to take actions towards love here but they don't want to dig themselves into a hole that's what I feel like when I look at that Knight of Cups energy it's like these usually uh, these Knights are usually on horses Knights always represent an action so obviously this person feels like they want an action to be taken here yes they want to be able to analyze this action but they do want romance here and they do feel like they would like to, to give you some romantic gestures or be romantic with you or be nurturing and be caring there with the Knight of Cups energy. And they, they do want to look at the long term. They are looking ahead here with the Knight of Pentacles energy to what's going to happen. Okay, so let's keep going here. So what about some advice for you guys? Can I have some advice if they want to reconcile with their ex, please? Can I have some advice if Virgos want to reconcile with their ex, please, for the month of June? Show my cards I need to see. Show them the cards I need to see. What can they do to make that happen? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. All right, so don't let your emotions run away with you here, okay? So this emotions are running high. Luck is on your side, Virgo. Hold your vision. So hold on to what you want here, okay? Know that things will move in your favor. Just don't let your emotions get the best of you here. Yeah, because you're about to end a tough cycle here. And don't let your pride get in the way. Take a breath and just ground yourself. Okay, let's also see what the Tarot says here. Yeah, you're gonna have to stand up and fight or walk away, Five of Swords energy. There is potential here for a long-term commitment, Ace of Pentacles energy. So they're saying you have potential here. Don't feel defeated. You have this long-term potential offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's see if you guys are going to have a reconciliation. I just wanna get some advice around this. Can I have some advice from my Virgos when it comes to a reconciliation with their ex love interest in the month of June? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we have the time to go card. We have the light up card. Okay, let's see the tarot here. Okay, so it looks like it's your choice there, Virgo. Two of wands, four of cups. So it's saying you'll have a choice here if you want to. Something will be offered to you, but you don't have to accept it. Or there's a choice not to miss an opportunity because four of cups does represent missed opportunities and you have a choice here it's saying that you can walk away from this choice or you can have a leg up or support this choice this option this offer that's being offered to you four of cups energy also obviously choices is saying something is yet to be decided you have to decide do you want this choice that's being offered to you all right so let's keep going let's also ask if you're going to have new love coming in is Virgo, does Virgo have the potential in the month of June for new love? Does Virgo have the potential in the month of June? Oh yeah, Sun card is coming out, yes. The Magician card is coming out, yes. Six of Pentacles is saying, there needs to be an equal give and take or you need to bring things within yourself into balance, Six of Pentacles energy. Or there's a very giving energy. Sun card is saying, yes, 
luck is on your side, you have all the tools you need, you have an ideal situation, but you have to make sure that something is an equal give and take or you need to make sure that there is a healing and recovery here, okay, before moving forward with that. But the yes is a strong yes, you guys do have potential here for new love if you want it. Okay. All right, my Virgos, let me switch my cameras here. All right, my Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another day or two with your bi-weeklies. And then after that, it's going to be your weeklies. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your month. And I will see you soon.